equipment. An inspector noted in a report from May that employees locked an item that was red tagged at least five times once she identified herself and wouldn't reopen it so she could look inside. Inspectors also noted repeat violations for operating without a food dealer's permit, among other permits. With all of the violations, you might wonder why Taste Bar wasn't shut down. Well, it was temporarily many times. HHD told us the Midtown spot has been shut down at least six times by their department since 2019, but was allowed to reopen within a day each time, only to be cited for the same problems again and again. How were they able to stay open without proper permits and hundreds of violations? ABC 13 obtained hundreds of emails and texts among city employees talking about taste. In some of those, Tamara Bell, a local activist, why do you think the mayor's office called you? Okay, well, why do you think they called you? Reached out to numerous city departments for taste. These messages between Bell and former council liaison William Paul Thomas show her asking for Thomas's help. You know his name because he recently made headlines after pleading guilty to a federal charge of accepting bribes to help two local businesses get their necessary permits quicker. In one of the text conversations, Bell writes, quote, Hey, William Paul, I'm so sorry to be calling you. It's Taste Kitchen. Can I speak with you or do I need to call ST? It's urgent. When Thomas asks if they're good through the weekend, she says yes. Another, he tells Bell to call him when she's available, saying, quote, ASAP about the health department and taste. We asked Bell several questions, including her connection to taste, but have not gotten a response. There are still questions about Thomas's exact involvement in taste, but according to the city, this would be outside the scope of his official capacity. Each time we do a story about taste, we reach out to Chef Bowie for comment. He stopped answering us, but has seen our text messages because he started sharing screenshots of them on social media. Today, he answered our question about any connection to the city on his Instagram story, saying he doesn't have one. Mike Hatfield. ABC 13 Eyewitness News. No.